Hello and uh, welcome to the Social Today Show on uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday the 29th of uh, March. Coming to you from uh, Pepper Crescent in Cheltenham today where I will shortly be running a LinkedIn workshop with Louise Jenner. So uh, looking forward to, uh, to that. Uh, so, uh, a roundup of the social media news today, uh, as it's the first show of the uh, of the week, and uh, a fair bit to to report from uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and uh, a few other bits and pieces as uh, as well. So, I have actually um, blogged about uh, this week's social media uh, news. So I'm just going to use that as my notes to uh, spin through that and you can check out my blog for a full report of this week's news and I'll post this video on there too as uh, as well. Uh, good morning Gerald, uh, welcome uh, welcome to you. Uh, okay so uh, first up is a bit of virtual reality news. The uh, Oculus uh, headset, Oculus Rift is now being delivered uh, as of uh, today. They started uh, shipping at the uh, at the weekend and the very first one was delivered to a guy in uh, Alaska by the uh, founder of Oculus Rift. So you might think what has this got to do with social media? Well it's going to be huge. The future is here. Virtual reality is, uh, is here. Lots of new hardware coming out uh, this year and uh, pretty soon status updates are going to incorporate virtual reality. We are already seeing 360 degree videos on, uh, on Facebook and other social networks so virtual reality uh, it's going to be uh, a big uh, big thing uh, next up uh, when I can get my uh, get my phone uh, phone to work more video news from uh, Facebook lots of video stuff always happening with Facebook so they've brought out some new metrics daily metrics for those that upload videos to their Facebook pages so those are going to be uh, very useful uh, uh, what else have we got here? Uh, da, da, da. Oh yes, new facilities for Facebook uh, Live, new capabilities. Uh, studio quality allegedly going to be possible. This is just a rumour, uh, but Facebook could well be announcing some changes to Facebook Live, making um, it more compatible with broadcast quality video uh, so TV studios could start to get involved with uh, Facebook Live if indeed that rumour is, uh, is true. Uh, Periscope um, celebrated their uh, first, uh, oh I'm sorry, <laughs> going out of order here, uh, profile pictures. You can now uh, have a video on your profile picture. Uh, so rather than a static profile picture, you can now change that to a seven second looping video. So uh, it's quite an interesting development on the uh, personal side. Periscope, uh, the other main live streaming service along with Facebook Live, celebrated their first anniversary uh, on, uh, on Saturday, their first uh, birthday. Uh, Catch celebrated their first birthday too, that's Catch with a K, so Catch is a service that basically records and stores all uh, past periscopes for those people that are broadcasting periscope, uh, periscope videos and want them to be uh, captured. Uh, Periscope captures those and the whole of their library is now searchable, so if you're looking for content on anything uh, perhaps rather than uh, using Google, perhaps give uh, the new search facilities on uh, Catch a go. That's Catch with a with a, a K, so K A T C H uh, dot uh, dot me is the uh, is the website there. Uh, another rumor: uh, YouTube are currently rumored to be testing a live broadcasting service. Surprise, surprise! So trying to catch up with Periscope and uh, Facebook Live, and it's probably going to be called. Uh, YouTube Connect. Uh, Instagram, so Instagram added a search engine to their website at Instagram.com fairly recently but there's also notifications now available on the website so more functionality uh, there. Uh, Twitter, a uh, rumour from Twitter that they are adding stickers, a sort of Snapchat like uh, feature so when you upload a photo you'll be able to overlay some uh, stickers and other images on, uh, on top of that. Uh, no one's quite clear on how that's going to work because it's uh, currently being tested so uh, allegedly so it is, is a bit of a, a, a rumour that one but uh, watch this space for Twitter uh, stickers 
and uh, more exciting images and photos. And finally, my number of the week is 777. Uh, following a survey of marketing campaigns by a company called AppBoy, it was found that emoji usage has rapidly increased by 777% year on year. So um, there we go, emoji is being used more widely in marketing campaigns. So I uh, must uh, leave you now, just a quick show this morning, full report on uh, via my uh, newsletter for those that... Uh, uh, signed up to my newsletter, you would have received the uh, news uh, last uh, night. But full report on the blog post at internet dot, uh, internetfuture.com. Uh, that's it for, for me because I must crack on and prep for the uh, LinkedIn workshop that uh, I'll be running today with, uh, with Lisa Jenner. Uh, welcome, Freddie, Stuart, Nick, and uh, Elliot. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. And uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye for now.